But you suggest using mixed grains, which whole grains work best together. So the reason is that a lot of times you look at multi-grain recipes and they have like this grain and this grain and this grain and you've got like six different things and who wants to go to the store for six different grains? And I had my aha moment when I was looking at a Bob's Red Mill mixed breakfast whole grain breakfast cereal and I noticed that it had six of the grains that I was supposed to be putting in this bread and I thought how perfect we'll use this dried cereal. It's not going to work with all mixed grain cereals but I found that and I give a lot of instructions too but in most cases you could replace, say, the one cup of mixed grain flours or the two cup with a mixed grain dry breakfast cereal, and then you've bought one thing that you can also use for cereal and not, you know, eight canisters of flours that are... Could you use granola? I don't think granola would give you as happy results because they, uh, usually there's a lot of sugar and other things that make it clump. The people, you say, should slip Muesli, perhaps. Muesli would be closer Mm. to that, sorry. No, please. You're the (laughs) expert. I'm just asking the questions. (laughs) <laughs> People, you say, shouldn't flip out if the dough is wet and and coarse when they first mix it. You actually want a sticky dough. When you start, what happens is we all get uncomfortable because it's sticking to our hands and flour, and it feels like it's not correct. We always think that we did something wrong, and we start adding more flour to it, and that's how you get that tough bread. If you want to make bread, the best thing is to just get comfortable with a little bit of stickiness. Now, your recipe calls for two making two loaves. Mm-hmm. That's just because this is too much work to do one loaf? I think you'll thank yourself because, I mean, one loaf is, what, eight, nine slices, perhaps? I mean, that's not, that's, and for a few hours of rising, you might as well make two loaves while you're at it. The, can you freeze one of them? Absolutely. I always, free, I will freeze bread if I'm not even using it for a day and a half.